we have this uh, ad by Joe Biden. This is, this is, I think what's most interesting about this is it's going after Donald Trump's most vulnerable point. And it's not a political vulnerability, it's a personal vulnerability. And that is that Donald Trump, you'll recall during the Obama presidency, Trump, uh, you know, they played a montage of these things yesterday on MSNBC. Uh, Donald Trump was constantly saying that, you know, essentially the subtext was because we have a black president, the world is laughing at us. And he, he just, you know, over and over and over again, he would say the world is laughing at us. Well, right now the world is laughing at Donald Trump, or at least the world's leaders. And that's what Joe Biden is pointing out. And this ad has got to just, you know, blister Trump's skin. I mean, just check this thing out. World leaders caught on camera laughing about President Trump. Several world leaders mocking President Trump. They're laughing at him. My administration has accomplished more than almost any administration in the history of our country. Didn't expect that reaction, but that's okay. World leaders mocking and ridiculing him for being completely off balance. Allies are deeply worried about him. They say he's becoming increasingly isolated. Something is very wrong. The world sees Trump for what he is, insincere, ill-informed, corrupt, dangerously incompetent, and incapable, in my view, of world leadership. And if we give Donald Trump four more years, we'll have a great deal of difficulty if ever being able to recover America's standing in the world and our capacity to bring nations together. So there, there it is. The, the implied message, of course, is that Joe Biden is the guy who can, who can make America you know, stand tall in the saddle or sit tall in the saddle or whatever the phrase was from back when Ronnie Reagan was doing this kind of stuff. Um, I think, frankly, any of the <laughs> Democrats who are running for president would be a huge improvement over this guy and, frankly, over any Republican. But anyhow, it's, it's uh, going to be interesting to see if Trump explodes. I mean, you know, and, and if he does, and this is, this is you know, I, I'm guessing that there have been a lot of politicians who've been afraid to go this way because they're, they're concerned that if Trump does explode, that he might do something insanely stupid. He might start a war with Iran. He might start a war with North Korea. He might, I mean, and by the way, uh, Kim Jong-un yesterday or the day before was out riding his white horse on the sacred mountain and saying a big announcement is coming and, and the guests in the, in, and, and saying, by the way, that he could invade South Korea anytime he wants and he could take on the United States. The guess in most political circles right now are Korea watchers is that he's going to announce that North Korea is now officially a nuclear power, complete with uh, short, medium, and long-range intercontinental ballistic missiles capable of delivering nuclear warheads pretty much anywhere he wants, and submarines, nuclear-powered submarines. You know, we will see. Uh, we'll see exactly what it is, but 